guys welcome back to my channel today I am just going to do a sit down with you guys video and just discuss talk like friends you know come on over for lunch I'm gonna have lunch with you guys too so if you guys are just joining my channel this is my shy apparently dog Miss Nookie Louise she is getting groomed today I had a half day at work and we're gonna go to the groomers um, after this, oh, after lunch, oh my gosh, nope. Anyway, she just jumped in the back of me on the bed, and I have lunch. Lunch consists today of creamy broccoli and cheese soup. Um, this is a recipe that I made from Pinterest. I kind of doctored it up a little bit, um, but it's like a really low calorie soup. It makes six servings in the crock pot, and I believe like each serving is like 250 calories. I don't know, it's not that much at all. Mm. Mm. And I love it because it has a lot of vegetables in it. Um, it does use cream cheese, but you can always use the fat-free cream cheese, which is what I did. And it's so good, but anyway, so let's talk about some updates. So last time I had kind of like a sit down chat with you guys, we were discussing like me taking care of my mom's dog because of her surgery and just like kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place as to what I was going to do. Um, and I think I fixed that problem. So... Um, I basically told my mom that I didn't think I was going to be able to watch her dog and watch my dog and watch my house and watch her house and visit her in the hospital and get things if she needs it or whatever. Like that's a lot for me to handle, you know, like two households plus two animals plus, and like, there's no one else. Like my kids both work full time and they don't live in this city. So, mm, mm. So it's just a lot, you know. Um, so I like literally broke down in tears because you know like how you try to like take on everything and do everything and make it easier for other people. And, you know, I knew that it was more than I could bite off, more than I could bite off and chew. You guys know what I mean. I knew that it was more than I could handle, um, but I just wanted to try to do it because like I said, my mom and I are in a good place right now and I didn't want her to be disappointed in me and she called me over the weekend and I just broke down crying and I'm like, you know, I am so sorry. I don't want to disappoint you, but I really don't know if this whole dog sitting thing is going to work. So we came up with a better solution actually because I work during the day. So we found this couple um, that my mom knows personally and other people I guess that I know know this couple. So it's good, but they are a couple my age if not a little bit older and the gentleman is home like he owns his own business or whatever and he's home during the day and the wife works during the day so someone's gonna be home with her dog and he can stay for at least like three weeks so I was really happy about that um but yeah so that is all settled, but my mom is still having surgery, so I don't know, you guys. I don't know what to think about it. Mm. Mm. I just hope that it's everything that she wishes it would be, but I don't think it's going to be, but trying to stay positive here. So I wanted to show you guys, I did place an order with Macy's recently, because they were having a sale on their philosophy stuff. It was free shipping. This was $12.99, I think. And then you got Ebates, like 12% Ebates or something like that. I don't know. It was really good. By the way, if I have broccoli in my teeth, whatever. So I picked up three of them. I got the candy cane, which I've had the candy cane before, but this is a gift. Um, and yeah, it just smells, I'm not going to read the description because that's crazy. And I am going to open it because I know who it's going to and they're not going to care. But, oh my God, it's so like pepperminty. It smells literally just like a candy cane. So like with the sugar and stuff. And then I also got Christmas cookie. 
this is going to go to somebody who really likes the fragrances of just like vanilla. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And then I got this one for myself because, I mean, me, um, holiday pajamas. And this one surprised me. I wasn't sure what this was going to smell like, but it just says, um, slip on your favorite pair of cozy pajamas and you're ready for sweet dreams. Somebody said that this was cherry plus almond plus like something else. And I don't think so. This is like, a, I don't know what this is. I do smell a little bit of almond in here mixed with like a little bit of kind of a cologne fragrance, but, and maybe a little bit of cherry. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so this is their new one because they have had Christmas cookie before and they have had the candy cane before. It's just in repackaging, but this is a totally new fragrance to me, the holiday pajamas. So if you guys can find that, buy it because I love philosophy. And then I also went to my PO box um, and picked up some mail. So I was going to share that with you guys too. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy that I'm finding recipes for lunch that are like 300 calories or below. That like still fill me up, you know. Mm. Mm. I'm using a really big spoon. I'm doing laundry or not laundry, but I'm running the dishwasher right now. For some apparent reason, like, you know when you put the soap in your dishwasher? Well, it's popping open, but my soap isn't coming out. Like, the little squares, it's not coming out. I don't know why. Anyway. Okay. So, I got Bath and Body Works coupons. Um, It says, they're back. All the holiday stuff. We know. It's the same every year. This one, Winter Candy Apple. Free fun size body care item a $550 value or $10 off of any $30 purchase. And then they have, they are showcasing their Vanilla Bean Noel and their Winter Candy Apple, which we all know and love. And I don't know, I think everybody has like Winter Candy Apple coming out of their ears by this point. But at least they're keeping their classic stuff, you know? Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. She wanted to come up again, but you know what? It's like she wants to come up and then she goes in the back on the bed and then like she gets bored of that. So she jumps down and then like she runs around the house and gets bored of that and then comes in here again by me and then starts like her little barking again. Hi, you are stinky again. I gave you a bath the last time and you still smell. I don't know what's going on with her. Anyway, okay, so... I got a card from New Hampshire um, from Lauren Body out of Ron Rochester, New Hampshire. So let's open this one. I haven't done any Christmas cards, you guys. I don't know if this is a Christmas card or not. But oh, that's sweet. Thinking of oh, thinking of both of you at Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. As autumn leaves come tumbling down and Jack Frost chills the air, the time is right for gathering to celebrate and share. Hi, Angela and Snooky. Oh, so sweet, Miss Snooky Louise. May your Thanksgiving be filled with lots of memories and love. You are such an inspiration to me. Hugs from New Hampshire. P.S. Please write back. Be blessed. Love, Lauren and Phoebe, the chinchilla. Oh my God, you guys, how cute is that? That is so, so sweet for Thanksgiving 2017. It says, to Angela and Snooky, love, Lauren and Bodie, Bodie and Phoebe. Oh, love, Lauren, Bodie and Phoebe, the chinchilla. So cute. Thank you so much, Lauren. I will definitely write back to you. Like I said, you guys, the Christmas cards... I like was in it to win it for like years and years. I did Christmas card exchanges. I think we are going on like our fourth year this year, but I don't have a picture of Miss Snooky Louise and I for Christmas yet. And I don't know. It's a lot. Like with everything that's going on with my mom and stuff too. And like kind of like the unknown, like I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. And just to let you guys know, there are other family stressors, which I'm not getting into right now, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Mm. 
so good so this one is from miss deborah dow out of sirisu illinois c-i-c-e-r-o -C -E so it's to angela and snooki louise what's going on here now hmm Joyful blessings with the Indians. Angela and Snooky Louise, may the miracle of his birth light your way through the coming year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, Deborah, Louise, and Sprocket. Thank you so much, Deborah. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to hopefully get a Christmas um, picture of Snooky Louise and I this weekend, maybe. I don't know, you guys. It's crazy. And it might not be like a Christmas-themed photo, if you know what I mean. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to promise anything this year, though, because, like I said, everything is kind of like up in the air. Look at the carrots in there, you guys. So good. It's onions, carrots, um, a little bit of cheese, and broccoli. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then there's this box, extremely heavy, came from Canada, from Eric, you are a sweetie. Let's see what Eric put in this box. I got this and I like went to the post office and usually they'll like put a little slip in my box with a key and I'll be able to um, just use a key like in a different box or whatever but this time I like had a slip and I was just like oh why is there a slip I wasn't really expecting anything and then I wonder if this is an envelope or it's oh no that's just my address and then they're like well you have to print your name here print your address here sign here verify here I'm like what is going on with all this verification and then I noticed that it's from Canada oh Canada here we go Dear Angela, I hope you are doing well. I have really enjoyed watching your videos. You are such a fantastic YouTuber. I love the way that you connect with your fans. Enclosed in this box are two candles from a, lux a luxury independent candle company based in my hometown of Vancouver, Canada. Oh, Canada. They make fragrances based on different neighborhoods. Oh, in Canadian cities. That's cool. They are handmade in small batches of only 50 candles. On the side of the candle box, you will find who made it and what number your candle was in the batch. Leslieville is the neighborhood where I live in Toronto and Queen West is the neighborhood that I work in. I hope you enjoy these candles as they are quite hard to find outside of Canada. Okay. Ooh, nice packaging. Cute. Here is Queen West. Ooh, this is cute. I'm in love. Ooh, I'm in love. Toronto, about Queen West. Um, from global brands to local designers, this trendy neighborhood boosts artsy hotels, a design district, and street arts and street art alike. Queen West Gem Picnics at Trinity Bell Woods Park. This is oak moss, sage, and lavender. Oh, and here on the side it says this candle was. Look at, look at. It says, it says things. Is that my dishwasher? I don't know what's going on, you guys. Okay. Ooh, this is, ooh, nice. Oh, this is beautiful. So here's the candle. It says Queen West Toronto Neighborhood Collection Vancouver Candle Company. And then the top here is the burning instructions. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that beautiful. Ooh, that is super nice. Thank you so much, Eric. Let's get to the next one. Ooh, that is beautiful. Okay, here's the next one. This one is Leslieville. Grapefruit, orange, and apricot. Sharp citrus with green undertones. This electric neighborhood began as a small village in the 1850s that grew up around the nurseries owned by George and Leslie and Sons, after whom the community is named. Cute. I love this. Oh my gosh, is this amazing. This is like the most beautiful, sweet citrus I've ever smelled. I cannot wait to burn these. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Oh my goodness. 
So that was um, the mail I got, with the exception of like junk mail and bills and such. Mm. Mm. And I'm filming this on Wednesday in November. And I feel like this is going to go up sometime in December because, which is why I changed my calendar back there, but because I forgot that the first Sunday of the month is this coming Sunday. I was going to put this video up on Sunday, but it's Coffee and Candles with Miss Angela for the month of December. So I'm not going to be able to do that. You guys, I'm a little bit behind. I hope you guys don't mind. Mm, I mean, it's whatever, right? I feel like YouTube is kind of like, I don't know, like stringing us along a little bit, like the creators. I don't know. It's just crazy. It's like, there was another YouTuber the other day. Probably one of the cleanest YouTubers I've ever seen. Like, eh, th no, they really don't have anything racy on their channel. Literally, like they said, every single video that they put out was unmonetized. Meaning, they weren't attaching advertisements. And it's like, I just don't understand the criteria as to who they're monetizing and who they're not. You know? Um... It's not even about who you know anymore because this person is big. It just doesn't matter. I don't know. Like what little robot is behind that computer screen doing this? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, but it makes me upset because I feel like if you're not working for a specific brand, um, or like promoting a certain product that will help you monetize your videos. And then your SOL. You know what I mean? Like, and is that what YouTube is about now? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. I, w I would hope not. I would hope YouTube is not about that. Hmm. It would be really sad if it came to that. Like, because in return, people are going to stop making videos. They're just going to stop doing it because there's no profit to it anymore. Hmm. I don't know. Especially the people who, like, live off of their YouTube careers. If you're not monetizing them, then what are they to do but get a job at McDonald's or something. I don't know. Mm. Mm. And I also want to address the Walmart video that I put out. So I put that video out last night after watching it. I didn't do any background like checking of anything. So apparently there was a tornado and the tornado wiped out the electricity that that Walmart was in for like 14 hours, which I still kind of find kind of bizarre because the milk and like the cheese and stuff and the butter was ice cold. So I don't understand that. But anyway, so legally they couldn't sell the products. So I get it. I get it. Because everyone's commenting saying, well, they couldn't sell the product. Okay, I get it. What's hard for me to see is all of that food. You know what I mean? Going to waste because of a natural disaster, even though it was a natural disaster, it's still hard to see. You know what I mean? But anyway. Okay, you guys, this video has gone on way too long. Mm. Is this a mukbang? Is it a mukbang? I don't know. Just because I'm eating? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, sorry if there's any broccoli in my teeth. Have a great day, guys.